Back in October, I set a goal to only stream horror games for the entire month, and started it off with the indie game Inside the Backrooms. The experience was genuinely nerve-wracking, and the game got some great reactions out of me. <laughs> BITCH! I had managed to make some decent progress and wanted to try again, but my first attempt showed me that playing on your own really sucked. So I decided to call in some backup. This is my friend Nashi. She's an artist and PNG tuber on Twitch who I knew from high school, and she had expressed interest in trying the game out when I talked to her about it. There was just one thing. Nashi had never played a horror game before. Well, I guess there's a first time for everything. Can the two of us keep calm and work together to get out of this twisted reality? Or will we lose our sanity and fall victim to the horrifying entities that stalk the hallways? Hey, before we get to the story, just a reminder to hit that like button if you enjoy the video, and comment down below what you want to see next. And if you keep finding yourself coming back, be sure to subscribe! It's free, and it really helps me out a ton. Alright, back to the back rooms. For this session, I decided to play a homeless man. My game started off with me wandering the streets before I was attacked by the most fearsome of creatures. And rather than being in the- What the crap? That was like the most- What is this PNG bullshit? What the hell was that?! While attempting to escape the evil PNG, I no-clipped through the floor and found myself back in a familiar yellow room. With the intro out of the way, it was time to find my friend. Nashi! Fred? What? Oh, hey! <laughs> Welcome hey, to the back rooms! This is like, this is, <laughs> this is very jarring to look at. Like, that character is... You look like you're gonna, like, beat me up. Now together, the two of us made our way through the square tunnel and gathered our starting equipment. Since we were given radios, we tested them out to be sure they were functional. Now can I get an extra large, uh, number three, two Coke Zeros and a... <laughs> yeah, we only have Diet Coke. Will that work for you? Damn, you just, you, you just like, like, <laughs> you just like alpha... <laughs> You just an alpha man strutting your way over here, jeez louise. <laughs> I started introducing Nashi to the entities we'd be encountering as I wanted her somewhat prepared. Speaking from experience, going in blind was horrifying. I then led her to the first puzzle of the game to see if she could work it out herself. If you come over here, you will get a hint to how to solve said puzzle. Take a look. Okay. Oh my god! Look at that squat! <laughs> Bro! Nashi easily figured out the elevator combo and we traveled down to the real part of the game. We quickly grabbed our flashlights and while I was trying to give Nashi some tips, the game decided to give us a warm welcome. Nashi didn't handle it so well. Okay, so basically dog comes out of vents. Like now, go, 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 go. <laughs> Can't do this. So over here, this is your savior. This is the locker. If the dog or the funny Larry Cable Boy sees you running that, they won't fucking get your ass. Okay. It's it's literally like oh okay. Bye bye. Oh oh, are you just gonna stay there the entire time? <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't remember where. Okay. Well, this went poorly really fast. We're already separated. Five seconds in and we somehow already lost each other. Well, this wouldn't be a horror experience if everything started out easy. After waiting a moment, I snuck back to where we split off and found her lurking about. I already knew how to do most of the puzzles, so we started with the locker code in the bodies room, which gave us the vase-breaking hammer. As we left the room, however, we immediately encountered Larry again. Never mind, he's... okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 
mother! Are you kidding me? Larry is really aggressive right now. <sighs> Why do I think that's Nashi right now? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? Run, run, run! <laughs> Did you see you at the locker? <laughs> no, wait. Stop oh running! God. Stop running! Hold on. I saw Larry down there. Larry the Cable Boy was camping the front section of the level, so we went down the long hallway instead to find other puzzles to complete. Uh, let's... Shit. Okay. What's Hello? Here? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. In there. I wanna go in. Uh, the, the smiley guys right down the hallway. Don't go in there. Okay, nope, nope, nope. We tried doing the vase puzzle to get the red key, but just like the first time I played, the dog was really fascinated with this particular room. Fucking knew it. Oh, what a bitch! That's an eyeball. Is he back? I think I don't see him. No dog? I don't see him. Do we need to break these? We we will bust. Sure. Three, two, one. Oh, you have to click I uh, use the hammer. Okay. Seems dog is not near enough to care. Never mind, he is, he is. Never mind, we were wrong. This is going very well. I did not get attacked this much the first time I played. He's nearby. I got the key. Okay. okay. With the key in hand, I heard the dog jump back in the vents and we hightailed it out of there. Hoping Larry had moved on, we tried sneaking over to the level entrance to complete puzzles around there. Unfortunately, our friendly neighborhood cable man had claimed it as his domain. Not today, bitch. The entities this time around were much more active, aggressive, and freaking annoying. Even worse, they apparently developed patrol schedules. I stayed in that locker for the next 10 minutes as Larry stood guard, and then the dog did a round of patrolling, and then Larry came back to stand guard some more, and then the dog did another round of patrolling. Now she kept trying to come find me, but would just get chased into a locker of her own. Let me tell you, I've never hated canines or electronics so much in my life. Eventually, Larry went off to camp another area, and the dog went back to being an imposter, so Nashi and I could properly search the area. First lockers we came across, boom! The tape and the clock hands. I knew Larry was hoarding all the good stuff. We ran to the TV to get the info needed for the body parts puzzle, but unfortunately, and annoyingly, 
Larry returned to his lair. No, no. You guys remember the part where I said no? Oh no! Yeah. So my camera covered it up, but a crucial update had appeared in the top left corner of the screen. I don't know where to go. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Well, you can't blindly run around with Smiley in the shadows. She had to learn somehow. Luckily, she found the white door, so I wasn't stuck doing this alone. After several more minutes of running around and dealing with irritating entities, we finally were able to return the body parts to their respective owners. I then remembered a red door near the area I had been camped before, and since Nashi held a red key, we went to check it out. But, come over here, come over here, come over here. If you find some paintings, look at them closer. Altogether, they hide a secret code. I'm assuming there'll be like a number, there'll be like a safe at the end of it that we have to look at the paintings to get the numbers for, is one of my guesses. Alright, we got this. Here are the paintings. Okay. Let's try and do this quick. Um... What the hell? I actually don't know what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, wait! Oh! I see an A here! Where? So, come over here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you look at them a certain angle. Okay. Each painting held a letter in the corner. Lucky for us, they weren't scrambled, so the painting simply spelt out crate. At the end of the room was a box with a five letter code, so we knew what to do. There we go. We got. Oh, okay. What's that? Mom? Oh, Moth Jelly, that increases your sprint. Don't use it, uh, I think there is something later we'll want that for, so don't use it until then. Four fuses for... something not on this level, if my last playthrough was any indication. Either way, the mirror blocking the switch puzzle had already been shattered, so the only things left to do were the clock and locked box holding the pliers. Due to the entities constantly forcing us apart, I managed to make it to the clock puzzle alone and finished it, receiving the box combination. The dog managed to track me and block my escape, but Nashi had somehow made it to the area where the locked box was located, so I had an idea. God damn it, can you hear me? Okay, if you can get to the safe, 3026. That, okay, that, 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 that room with all, um, get to that, get to the big room with all the lockers on either side. The, the safe was on, at, in that room at the end. 3206? 3026. Okay, 3026, got it. Yeah, okay. 3026. I can do this, I can do this. Three. Zero. Two. Remember your training. Thank you, Ginger. Yes, I'll remember my training. Okay. I got pliers. We met back up in the long hallway and headed into the dark area with the switch puzzle. This puzzle was a lot easier with someone to communicate with as I just flipped switches while Nashi checked the door. With it unlocked, we gained access to our biohazard equipment. All geared up, we can now head into the radiation zone and escape this level. Of course, we still had to navigate around multiple entities who just wouldn't get off our asses. Hi. Nope, 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 gotta wait. What? <laughs> oh! So, earlier I had told Nashi to not directly look at Smiley. Apparently I wasn't specific enough about what I meant by directly. I'm not quite sure where exactly we're going. I'm just very nope, happy. Nope, nope, got away. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sound. 
Honestly, my fault for not saying don't look at Smiley. Just at all. After she found the white light to come back, Nashi and I entered the radiation zone and got to spraying. This time I was very thorough and ensured nothing was missed, so it only took us about three minutes instead of 30. Go, 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 go. Come back to the door. Come on. We didn't even need to fully radioactivize it. It just, I just sprayed the thing and it was happy. We made it through the back rooms, or at least the first level of them. Nashi unlocked the doors, we headed down the stairs, and I opened the large garage door leading to the big drop. This was the cutoff point of my last run, so I was going in somewhat blind from here on out. Admittedly, I watched parts of a few playthroughs after my first run, so I still had some info. I didn't see everything, so don't get too mad now. One thing I did know, though, we were far from clear of anything dangerous. Okay, here's what's important. I need you to listen to me very carefully. We're gonna fall down, back the fuck up as fast as you can. Okay, let's go. Okay, so for this one, from my understanding, we need to find little gauges, like th there's these pillars here, there should be like gauges that we can use and then we have to attach them to like leap, like, yeah, so there's, so we need to find gauges to attach to that and spin. Splitting up for this area seemed like a good plan, as it allowed us to hopefully find gauges better and the entity seen at the start would only go after one of us at a time. Oh, he's chasing you. Have fun with that. Get to a locker, get to a locker, get to a locker. I don't see a locker. There's no locker. There's no locker. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's so dead. I don't have a locker. I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I couldn't run. Yeah, she dead. Despite Nashi dying once, the divide and conquer method worked, as I closed two of the valves while Nashi did two as well. We needed only one more valve closed to unlock the door, but one of us had to be a distraction to give the other time. As a professional locker hider, I knew what I had to do. Okay, stay by this locker, I'm- Okay, hold on. Yeah, take a look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Don't look at her! Look at me! Got a garage access card. Oh well. And the last valve. That's unfortunate because I can't uh, talk right now. Hoping I had given Nashi enough time to survive, I hopped out of my locker to run for the door. He's running at me! <laughs> Bitch! Oh God! Dude is meaty Darth Vader. Listen to that. Listen to that! Dude is Darth Vader made of meat! Well, that was the worst timing ever. Luckily for me, Meat Vader seemed to have spotted Nashi and ran off, so this time I hopped out and actually ran for the door. Unfortunately, it needed to be opened with a card. The one Nashi was holding. He's right over there, just open this door. He's gonna follow us through this area, but we just gotta go for it. Bye, bitch! Okay, okay, um... One, just keep going, just keep going. Okay, so once again... Uh, oh god, keep going! Yeah, that's right, bitch! That's right! Get fucked! For a sad boy, look at him! <laughs> Amazing how a single set of bars can make people so brave all of a sudden. After that terrifying encounter, the game finally gave us a bit of breathing room, which we took great pleasure in completely fucking around in. It's just- <laughs> All stairs, no railing. It's such a mood though, it's like, you, who, who needs railing? I can climb stairs. I don't- 
think so. Hold on. Do we uh, oh, I just teleported down. Whoa. Wait, go to the top and do that. No, no. <laughs> Gravity 9000. No, we're just in the back rooms. It's like no clipping. There ain't no rules. Oh, this is actually one of the coolest um, liminal space images of the back rooms. Oh, Look at I've that. I've seen this before. Yeah, I love that they put this in. Oh, this is dope. I've seen this picture before. It was nice having a bit of fun, but it was time to get back to escaping. An elevator stood open at the end of the area, signifying a new floor. Even better, some helpful soul left a note with the code to go down. Just our luck. Welcome to, oh, yep, definitely offices. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, Meat Boy is going to be around here. Bitches. Okay. Hmm. I think I know what the fuses are used for now. With the lights off, we kind of stumbled around from room to room, with one of them containing a rather disturbing party setup. Nashi wanted to push the buttons on the wall of the room, which I was not a fan of, but we needed power for them to work. While looking for the box to turn the lights on, we found another strange room. I mean, it looked normal at first, until you realize the ceiling lights were on the floor. Yep, 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 yep. This room is interesting. In a small adjacent room, there was a safe with a rotary combination lock. Now, it was obvious the code was written on the walls, and you'd think it would be obvious what order to put the numbers in, but we actually got stuck on this for quite a bit. 90, 40, shit. Is it 10 or 90 next? I think it's 10, and then... 10. God, this is hard. Okay, what are we, what are we missing? Wait a minute. What if it starts with 90? And that's 10, right? Okay, hold on. After multiple minutes of struggling, Nashi's chat finally came to the rescue. Let me try 90 okay, as the okay. end. There's apparently another note somewhere. There's another note somewhere? Uh, Lucas says so, yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I found it. Oh, where? Oh. The arrow showed the code, but it's a flipped room. Oh, so it's... Backwards. Oh, I guess, yeah, it would be going the other way. Try 90, 80, 30... 40, 10. Try that. Yeah! Oh, wait, what is that? The safe held a file with some kind of codex, as well as motion trackers. Using these, we were able to track Meat Vader's location and avoid him better. However, when you're stumbling around in the dark, it's hard to know exactly where he is. Or where you're running to. I am a genius. Oh, don't act like you knew where you were going. Now that we had power back, Nashi really wanted to try out the buttons in the party room again. I was still quite apprehensive, but there was no stopping her. So I resigned myself to our fate. Okay, here's how this works. We're gonna be playing a series of mini games. We have to beat all of them and we get something important. Understand? Capiche. Also understand, this is probably, this could be where our run ends. We donned our party hats, approached our respective buttons, and got this party started. Here we go, three, two, one, press your button. Okay, ready? Pop them all or die. Get him. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on, save your stamina, save your stamina, because there's gonna be more. Don't worry, there's one more round, woo!
I don't know if there's one more round after this, I'll be honest. Oh shit, okay, that was it. First game down, no problems yet. Next up was a fun little gift finding game in a large confusing maze. Just like the balloon game, we had a time limit to find all the gifts each round. When the timer ran out, well, something would then try and find us. Uh -oh. I can't find it. Okay, one of us is gonna die, have fun. Just keep looking, keep looking, he's near me. Oh, no, we're, okay, one of us is gonna die. It's me, run, run, run! Okay. Usually I would narrate about how we did and the crazy things that happened, but honestly, I think the footage speaks for itself on this one, so I'll just let the rest play out. Oh, I'm totally dead again. I'm dead again, I'm dead again! God damn it! In here? This is actually really hard, I found out. I can't find anything. Pick up random presents. I don't know where they spawn. We haven't found a single one. Happy death day. Where the hell do we be? I got one. I got one. Oh, nice. Nice. It's, it should reset now. Okay. I didn't... Okay, find the, find two more. We got to find two now. We got to find two now. Go, 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 go. God, come on. What do they look like? Presents? Okay, great. Oh, he's about to come out again. Hide away. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I got it. There's one more, I got one of them. <gasps> no! Is that me making the goo e sound? Seriously carried here. There's one more somewhere. Luca, I'm scared. <laughs> Come on, man, gotta do more to aid her. She's so scared right now. I'm, what do you want me to do? I'm hiding so that I don't die. I'm hiding because the thing, like I'm trying to preserve lives. If we want to beat this game, we have to have somebody living. God, I can't. I have no idea. Sorry, I'm not helpful. I can't seem to find it at all. We got this. We got this. Somewhere. Somewhere. Getting to do all the work is kind of smart, though. I'm not trying to do that! I'm just legitimately working. I'm just tactically avoiding the dude as well. If she realizes that she can hide in the corners to avoid it when it's walking around, then she'll survive more. She just keeps running out in the open looking for the thing. We have all the time in the world, as long as we stay alive. Or she could die immediately when running into him. That's just unfortunate. Are you kidding me? You spawn me right behind him, why don't ya? I got it! Oh, you are a gem! Okay, he's gonna disappear again. Here we go, find three now. Maybe for once I'll get one. I got two of them, there's one more, there's one more. Okay, how are you finding all these, Jesus? Okay, you gotta hide away, you gotta hide away. Hide, 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 he's gonna spawn in again. Okay. You hard carrying right now? Yes, Luca. <laughs> I don't know how you're finding all of these. You got the magic touch. I'm just the guy hiding the entire time and staying alive, staying alive. I ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's it. No. I can't come back. Oh, she's shit. She's dead, dead. Fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh my god, I can see your dead shadow. Oh my god, that's creepy. With Nashi dead and my clear inability to find a single gift, and an ability to not hide every five seconds. There was simply no chance we were going to escape this time. One last death to the party man sealed the deal for me, and we ended it off there.
For her first time playing a horror game, Najee did incredibly well coming into her own. She went from a nervous wreck to a gift-finding god, and I seriously believed we could have escaped had we found that last present. Interestingly enough, Nashi developed a liking for the game, despite how much it freaked her out. And so one week later, we fell back through the seams of reality to try and escape once more. But that, my friends, is a story for another day.